hello everyone so this is Srikant and welcome to Uva Electrics so today we are going to deal with power systems part 7 economic considerations of power plant in the previous class uh, I have been discussing about uh, different types of power plants uh, thermal power plant, hydro power plant and nuclear power plant and in fact I have to clear one more power plant and that is nothing but pumper storage power plant where questions have been asking repeatedly I will try to con uh, I will try to complete it by the next class. So right now, let us consider economic considerations of uh, power plant. So for the very first thing, we have to consider curves, different types of curves. Uh, we have we have load curve. and load duration curve and mass curve mass curve is similar to that of uh, uh, mass curve in hydel power plant and ma this load curve is drawn between KWH versus time load versus time these two load versus percentage of time and this is drawn between kilowatts and percentage of time so the general construction of this might be like this and for this it will be like this this will be the uh, kwh for uh, t1 to t2 for hours t1 to t2 so please do remember there is difference between load curve load duration curve and mass curve mass curve is drawn between kw and percentage of time whereas uh, load duration curve and load curve drawn between uh, load versus time right so there is a point known as load factor this actually plays very important role in curves so for unity load factor for unity load factor shape of load curve shape of load curve is same as rectangular in examinations they may ask what what will be the shape of the load curve for the load factor uh, 100 percent or unity load factor then it will be rectangular right so uh, load curve usually has it may be positive slope negative slope and zero slope see if we consider this is this is nothing but positive slope this is positive slope and this is negative slope and whereas this is zero slope right so uh, area of load curve equal to energy consumed energy consumed it is the uh, area of load curve is nothing but energy consumed uh, energy consumed by the load so uh, in examinations they may ask they may give for, for uh, if you consider as a problems if you consider a problem they may give the energy consumed or the area of load curve so we have to uh, we have to first calculate area of load curve so that we can obtain energy consumed and, and I, I will exp I will uh, explain it with an example you please guys don't worry uh, with an example no problem so this is all about a uh, curves so let us uh, now move to some important factors factors load factor load factor is nothing but uh, I will I will 
I will note down. I will. I will note down the formula right here. Please note it down. Energy consumed by maximum demand. Demand into hours. Here hours for for if it is for yearly load factor, it is eight seven six zero. If in case of uh, daily load factor, it it will be twenty four. If in case of month, it will be thirty twenty four by thirty. Right? I think I am clear up to here. So load factor as mentioned, it is very important. It has a few more formulas to calculate in. A problem solving load factor is nothing but average load by maximum demand. Okay. One more factor is load factor is nothing but ratio of capacity factor capacity factor by utilization factor utilization factor. Right. So, uh, value of load factor of load factor is always less than one. Please do, please do note it down. This is also a very important thing. So next comes. Uh, I will try to solve the problem so we can we can proceed. So the uh, questions may be like this for one one mark, na. Huh? So the questions were might be like this. Understand? Yeah. Uh, this is KWH and this is hours. So questions. Zero to eight seven six zero means this is yearly yearly load curve, and this is hundred. This is sixty. So he may ask you load factor. So what I had given you is the formula uh, area of load curve by is equal to energy, right? Energy consumed. Area of load by maximum demand into eight seven six zero. So so uh, I have to calculate area. But area, if you See this. This is a rectangle, and a uh, it is a triangle and a rectangle. Uh, what is the area of a triangle? Half into a into b. For for a uh, for rectangle, area is a into b, right? So what do we get? Half into a is forty into eight seven six zero, and here sixty into Eight seven six zero. So total area is equal to half into forty into eight seven six zero plus sixty into eight seven six zero. If we do make eight seven six zero as common, and we cancel uh, two one forty twenty plus sixty into eight seven six zero. Eight seven six zero into eighty <coughs> is area and nothing but energy. So eight seven six zero into eighty by what is maximum demand here? Hundred is maximum demand. So into eight seven six zero. If we do cancel this, we get point eight as load factor. So this is a very important and commonly asked questions. So you have to be much more attentive. To. So so please do if if you are please do practice these type of questions. You can find many dummies in uh, online. Right. Next comes uh, demand factor. Demand factor. Demand factor is equal to maximum demand by connected load. This is also always less than one. Next comes under diversity. Factor sum of individual 
maximum demand by maximum demand of power plant so this is the only one which has a uh, diversity factor greater than unity so please do note it so so far load factor has uh, power factor less than one uh, diverse diversity factor ha have always power factor greater than one greater than or equal to one less than or equal to one and demand factor demand factor has always less than or equal to one yes. so i have been mentioning about capacity factor and utilization factor right uh, capacity factor capacity factor is average load by uh, rated capacity or installed capacity of plant installed capacity so this is also less than one sorry for the interruption uh, utilization factor is nothing but installed capacity by maximum demand if you consider a formula for load factor i have mentioning about cf by uf that is nothing but capacity factor by your utilization factor so what does it comes your average load by installed capacity installed capacity by maximum demand they both cancel and we get average load by maximum demand that is nothing but actual formula for load factor so so far this is very clear and these are the most important uh, factors we oftenly uh, we regularly uh, see in technical examinations so one more key point i have to mention is here uh, load for to maintain to bring the cost to the stage of minimum to optimize the cost per unit to optimize to optimize the cost per unit load factor and diversity factor should be high so this is the most uh, most asked question in power systems itself in the entire power systems itself which is the most important question so next we are going for reserve capacities uh reserve capacities reserve capacities so we have to mention hot reserve capacity hot reserve capacity please do make make the notes for this thing so it it will help you guys a little reserve capacity which is in operation but not in service uh cold reserve capacity is something which is available for service but not in operation i think more than 10 times this question has been asked just the difference between hot reserve and cold reserve hot reserve uh, with the same terminology is even uh, hot reserve capacity is uh, which is in operation but not in service cold reserve capacity is which is available for service but not in operation these both are converse so please do uh, uh, please do make uh, this logic and please do uh, remember next comes form reserve uh, the form reserve is actually the actual power uh, intended to be always available to power intended to be always available to serve even during emergency this is a straight definition for form reserve and repeatedly asked uh, in fact questions will be in a way such that the questions and answers will be the same format they don't any they, they even don't change any kind of uh, uh, scripted data 
so please uh, please study as it is and, and and it's better if you if you can understand and if if not in case please do remain uh, which is always available to sir even during emergency so it this is known as from this so one more important thing is reserve capacity reserve capacity is plant capacity minus maximum demand uh, in 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 for one more one more question uh, they may give you maximum demand and they may give you load factor and they may give you uh, capacity factor and utilization factor and they may ask you to find reserve capacity so what we have to do is uh, to find we have also we have uh, we, we, uh, they had already mentioned maximum demand so we have to need to find plant capacity so so load factor is equal to capacity factor by utilization factor right so from capacity factor Uh, average load by plant capacity by utilization factor so if we substitute load factor uh, utilization factor and maximum demand we can get uh, CF so we, we have to need to find average load to find average load we need we require load factor is equal to average load by maximum demand for that load factor is given maximum demand also will be given and average load have we have to find it from average load we will find uh, average load by plant capacity by utilization factor we we can we can find plant capacity from this basic formula so load factor is very very important so uh, this is all about economic considerations of power plant and please do share with your friends and thank you once again